We are here for our first online Ballet One class, and I'm Miss Gabe, as you know, and this is Tyler and Harley here to help me. Can you guys say hi? Hi. And so we're gonna do everything we normally do would do as if we were in the studio, so follow along at home and send us videos and pictures of you guys practicing. Um, so we'll start with our stretches. Find a spot on the floor. And we're gonna put our feet in tight position, pointing our toes as hard as we can, sitting up tall on our side, and flex them up, and point them down, and flex them up, and point them down. Tyler, can you move towards me a little bit? Flex them up, and point them down, and flex them up, and point them down. Keep going up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down. Now three quarter, just toes. Flex up, three quarter, and point. Three quarter, and up, three quarter, and point. Three quarter, and up, three quarter, and point. Three quarter, and up, three quarter, and point. Flex them all the way up, heels off the floor, squeeze for eight, seven, six, very nice, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out for a minute and grab your opposite hand to touch. Lift it up, trying to keep that knee nice and straight, the spine straight, reach behind you if you can. Good, something a little different we've not done in this class. If you can't do it yet, just working towards it. Grab that with the other way on your foot, bend your bottom knee in, take your right hand, and go through the tunnel. If you need to bend your knee, that's okay. You can bend your knee to do this, then you're going to try to wrap it around and put it behind your shoulder. Bend your bottom knee a little bit. Bend your bottom knee. Mm -hmm. That'll get, and then put your other hand on the floor to stabilize yourself. Yeah, it's not easy. You'll get it. You'll get it. He's going to get it. <laughs> and bring it back and put it down. Then we're going to grab your other foot. Lift it up, leg nice and straight. Reach back, try to straighten out your spine. So lift the collar of your back. Keep that knee nice and straight, Harley. And then switch the position of your hand. So it's on the outside, head of the outside. Grab your foot, bend your knee. And then take your hand through the tunnel. Bend the bottom leg. So watch what this hand does. It goes to the floor and it helps me stabilize me. Ugh. Yeah, so there, that's okay. If you do it with 
your thought. And wake up your frogs. So push. And come down. Now I want you to push up into your plank position. Push up into plank. And come down. Because we have boys in this class, we're going to do 10 of these. Ready? Here we go. Push. One. And down. Two. So Tyler is doing a regular push-up position. Harley's doing a Pilates push-up. Try the different ways. If you put your elbows in towards your body or if your elbows are pointed out. And down. And three. And down. And four. Come on, guys. Down. Five. Down. Six. Seven. Belly's tight. Lift your belly up. Eight. Nice. Nine. Ten. Shake out those arms for a minute. Woo! A lot of these push-ups are way more hard than the regular push-ups. Well, I think they're, yeah, they're, it's just yeah, different true. muscles. Different mm -hmm. muscles. All right, lay on your bellies and arch, arch your backs up facing the front. Face the front, arch your backs. Touch one toe to your head, or try to. Oh, he's getting closer than you are. <laughs> and your other toe to your head. And both toes to your head. Oh, there you go, Harm. And come down, grab your feet, pull yourself up into your highest basket. And if you want to rock while you're there, rock and roll. One, two, three, and four. Good. Rest your back for a minute. Curl into a little ball. All right, you're going to go onto your backs and push up into a bridge position. If you feel like you're slipping, you can always put your feet against a wall. Good, nice bridges, guys. And come on down. Tuck your knees into your chest. Rock and roll. Good, come up on your hands and knees. Let's turn and face towards the trees. Show me your right splits, please. in French. Squeeze, turn it out. Seven, six, five, 
Knees to knees. Good. Show me four sautés in first, please.
shake it out. So if you if you want, we're not going to do it on tape today, but you can do fourth and fifth with your other foot in the front so that your body is completely even. Yeah, so you can back it up or do it without music on your own. Okay, don't answer right away. What does WPA mean? Hold your body up nice and tall if you can. 
Stretch it up. Mm -hmm. And bring it down. Bend it. Bend it to me. Hold your leg. And then stretch it up again. And put it down. Good. Shake it up. We are going to do the other side with music here. Yeah? Just if you're at home, take a little chasse around your room. Move around a little bit. So guys, just chasse. Just chasse. Try not to farm or chasse. Yeah? Point your toes. Point your toes. Side to side. Point. Point as you, as you step out. That's the hard part, right? Point as you step out. Okay, let's do the left leg now. First position. Belly's in. Did you feel a little wobble in those knees? Did you feel that tight? And then by the end, you fixed it. Can you do that for me? Keep it so straight the whole time. Yeah? So you're squeezing in your muscles. Everybody at home, same thing. Do it with your tie? In the front. 
second one. Hold on, you're already pointing out, but right here, rotate. Feel that? Close in the front. Brush. Rotate. Yes, close in the back. Brush. Rotate. Get your leg way up to the side. Close in the front. Good. Shake it out. Okay, so let's see if you can do it on your own with the left foot. Left foot in the front, please. Quickly. If you need to move over, you'll kick the bar. Ready? Six, seven, eight. Brush what? Four on four. Ah! And a one. Close. Two. Close. Three. Close. That's it, Ty. Four. Close. Whoa. How many are we doing? A four. It's that counting thing. You gotta, you gotta do that counting thing. One. Rotate. Close in the front. Good. Two. Close in the back. Three. Close in the front. Four. Close in the back. We brush back. Close in the back. Brush back. Close in the back. Brush back. Close in the back. Brush back. I'll look higher. I'll just sort of brush that forward. Close in the back. Now to the side. Same thing. Side. Let's see if they can do it. Close in the. Yes. Two. Close in the. Three. Close in the. Four. Close in the. Good. Plie down. Show me four change marks. Go. One, two. So tight. Think about when you're jumping. We talked about this in class, guys. When we're jumping, if we jump with floppy knees and non-pointed feet, do we jump to our, to our highest point or not? Yes. Not. So when we jump, we want to stretch through those knees and those feet so we can jump higher. Let's do that. Ready? Change mark. One. Stretch. Good. Two. Stretch. Three. Stretch. And four. Landing nice and soft. Stretch. Good. Shake it out. Excellent. Okay. Okay, guys. Here's your vocab question. What does Dega J mean? with the right foot.
remember when you do your bum up to the back that your knees should be facing out to the side. Yeah, and not down towards the floor. You've got to squeeze your outer thigh. Ready? We're going to start with our right foot. Which one is that? From blue, blue foot? This one. You got it. Stand tall, first position.
want you to practice this until you get it. We have done it in class. I think some of us can, got it and some of us didn't. It's called a pas de boue ray. Pas de boue ray. And what you do with your feet is this foot goes back, side, front. Do this with me, switching hands. Back, side, front. Back, side, front. Back, side, front. So we will do it together and it will look not like a dancer and then we will make it look like a dancer. So I'm gonna pick up my right foot however I feel like it, step back. Then I'm gonna step side with my other foot, front with this foot. So each time I'm switching, I'll pick up my back foot, back, side, front. 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 Now I'm gonna point my foot and put it in the back. Back, side, front. Pick up my back foot, back, side, front. Pick up my back foot. Now, um, if you've got this, we're gonna start to do it like a dancer. Hands on your hips though. Up on your toe, back, side, front. Pick up my back foot, coupe back, back, side, front. Pick up my back foot, coupe back. With the back foot, let's yep. Back, side, front, coupe, back, side, front, coupe, back, side, front, coupe, back, side, front, coupe. Start to go a little faster. Back, side, front, coupe, back, side, front, coupe, back, side, front, coupe, back, side, front, coupe. And this is your pas de boue I would love to see a video of you getting this and practicing this pas de boue ray. You think you got it, Ty? Mm -hmm. Nick, you want to show us? Pas de boue <laughs> He's got to practice a little. Okay, we're going to go across the floor. If you don't have a big space, do what you can. Just do one at a time of whatever we're working on. Let's start with our souteneuse across the floor. Yeah? Okay, so start over on the side here. How do we do our souteneuse? You are going to point your foot on your front. You rondage on, remember you've got your puppet string on your toe. You plie down, I rondage on with my puppet string. I'm gonna go up on my toe, cross this foot over, unwind my feet, and come down to tendu. Puppet strings. Cross, unwind, and come down. Puppet strings. Cross, unwind, and come down. Okay, let's try this across the floor with the music. Just both together, too. Point your foot. Okay, this is going straight across the floor. Go we'll right here. Yeah, that's fine. That's how you're right. Go ahead, sorry. See, now they have the other foot in front and ready. They're going to open to the side, open your arm, cross in the front, turn, and come down to tendu front. Open, cross, turn, open, cross, turn. Point your toe in between, tie if you can. Up, cross, on, to on your toes as high as you can. And open, cross. back 
when we're turning and then flip it as fast as we can. What is that called? Harley? Spot. Spotting. Yeah, spotting. Spotting. So a fun exercise you guys could do at home. Take something to a wall. A picture. Yeah? Right at your eye level. So don't put it really low and don't put it really high. And then practice spotting. So you're just going to stand there and then look at that picture. Flip and find it. Look at that picture. Flip and find it. Look at that picture. Flip and find it. Flip and find it. And if you turn like six times, see how dizzy you are. And then try it without spotting and see how dizzy you are. So you are spotting, right? Okay. And that's just spin. Six times. Don't spot. Don't spot. Don't spot. Don't spot. spot. Uh-oh. They're going down. <laughs> A lot more dizzy, right? So that it's very important that we spot when we're, when we're turning and dance. Okay. We're going to do... Two, two more things, yeah? And then um, we'll be done with the class today, yeah? So let's practice our chasse's changing feet. We have this in our dance. So go to the corner for this one so you have a little more space. So we're gonna face forward, actually. So I go, right foot goes step together, step. Then I'm gonna switch. Other foot, step, together, step. Switch, step, together, step. Switch, step, together, step. Switch, step, together, step. And you can do this all around the house. The one thing I want you to concentrate on is pointing your feet when you chasse. Harley, could you give us a good example of, of pointing your feet when you chasse? So every time she steps in between, she extends her foot out and points it. Yeah? Okay, Ty, you want to try it? Ready and go. Step together, step. Try to point in between. Switch. Oh, you got to switch feet. <laughs> step together, step. Point your other foot. Step together, step. It's hard, huh? Yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to put on some music here and let you guys chasse for a minute. Yeah?
left foot tie. Step, step, one more step. And leap. Now try to point that front foot so it doesn't look like this, yeah? But that's it. And step together, step. One more step and leap. That's it. Ready? Practicing at home. Go. Step together, step. Harley, you've got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, you want music? She said, I'm ready for the music. Here we go. Enjoying yourself at home. Please continue practicing. Sorry if our video skills aren't perfect yet. We're still working on it. Yeah. Um, and we love and miss you. See you soon. Hey, do the weekly challenge. This week is your favorite. Do a fun cardboard craft. There's lots of them on YouTube. And it's super fun. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. Okay. Bye.